the Holy Spirit calls us together as the people of God. We ring the bell to invoke God's presence, the Holy Spirit's presence, our joy. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God who creates us, redeems us, and calls us by name. Amen. Amen. Let us confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. Most merciful God, we confess, we confess that we, we have sinned, have sinned against, against, you. against you and your and beloved, your beloved children. children. We, we have turned, turned our faces, faces away from your glory. glory. When, when it did, did not appear, appear as we, as we expected. expected, we have we rejected, have rejected your, your word. word. When when it it us us ourselves. Ourselves. We, we have, have failed, failed to show hospitality to those who called us to welcome us. Accept our, our repentance for the things we have done and the things we have left undone. For the sake, for the sake of, of Jesus, Jesus the Christ. Christ. Have, have mercy, mercy on us. us. Forgive, Forgive us, us and, and lead us, us that, that we may bathe in, in the, glory the glory of your Son, Son born, born among us, us and, and reflect the love of all, all creation. creation. Amen. Amen. Rejoice in this good news. In Christ Jesus, your sins are forgiven. You are descendants of the Most High, adopted into the household of Christ and inheritors of eternal life. Live as freed and forgiven children of God. Amen. Amen.
and the grace of our Lord Jesus the Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. Also with you. With you.
Let us pray. Lord Jesus, make us instruments your peace, that where there is hatred, we may sow love. Where there is injury, pardon, and where there is despair, hope. Grant, O Divine Master, that we may seek to counsel, to understand, to love in your name. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. 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 God speaks to us in scripture reading, our preaching, our prayer, and our song. Our first reading from Genesis. Joseph said to his brothers, I am Joseph. Is my father still alive? But his brothers could not answer him. So dismayed were they at his presence. Then Joseph said to his brothers, come closer to me. And they came closer. He said, I am your brother, Joseph, whom you sold into Egypt. And now do not be distressed or angry with yourself because you sold me here. For God sent me before you to preserve life. For the famine has been in the land these two years. And there are five more years in which there will be neither plowing nor harvest. God sent me before you to preserve for you a remnant on earth and to keep alive for you many survivors. So it was not you who sent me here, but God. He has made me a father to Pharaoh and Lord of all his house and ruler over all the land of Egypt. Hurry and go up to my father and say to him, Thus says your son Joseph, God has made me Lord of all Egypt. Come down to me, do not delay. You shall settle in the land of Goshen, and you shall be near me, you and your children and your children's children, as well as your flocks, your herds, and all that you have. I will provide for you there since there are five more years of famine to come so that you and your household and all that you have will not come to poverty. And he kissed all his brothers and wept upon them. And after that, his brothers talked with him. Word of God, word of life. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks to, to God. God. Thanks to God. Do not be provoked by evil doers. Do not be jealous of those who do wrong. For they shall soon wither like the grass. And like the green grass fade away. Put your trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and find safe pasture Take delight in the Lord Who shall give you your heart's desire The lonely shall possess the land They will delight in abundance of Commit your way to the Lord, 
put your trust in the Lord and see what God will do. And the Lord will make your vindication as clear as the light. And do the justice of your case like the noonday sun. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently. Do not be provoked by the one who prospers, the one who succeeds in evil schemes. Refrain from anger, leave rage alone. Do not be provoked, it leads only to evil. The lowly shall possess the land. They will delight in abundance of peace. For evildoers shall be cut off. But those who hope in the Lord shall possess the land. In a little while the wicked shall be no more. Even if you search out their place, they will not be there. But the lowly shall possess the land. They will delight in abundance of peace. But the deliverance of the righteous comes from you, O Lord. You are their stronghold in time of trouble. You, O oh Lord, will help them and rescue them. You will rescue them from the wicked and deliver them, because in you they seek refuge. The lonely shall possess the land. They will A reading from 1 Corinthians. But someone will ask, how are the dead raised? With what kind of body do they come? For what you sow does not come to life unless it dies. And as for what you sow, you do not sow the body that is to be, but a bare seed, perhaps of wheat or of some other grain. But God gives it a body as he has chosen, and to each kind of seed its own body. So it is with the resurrection of the dead. What is sown is perishable. What is raised is imperishable. It is sown into dish, dishonor. It is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. It is sown in a physical body. It is raised a spiritual body. If there is a physical body, there is also a spiritual body. Thus, it is reason the first man. Adam became a living being. The last Adam became a life-giving spirit. But it is not the spiritual that is first, but the physical, and then the spiritual. The first man was from the earth, a man of dust. The second man is from heaven, as was the man of dust. So are those who are of the dust. And as it's the men of heaven, so have those who are of heaven. Just as we have borne the image of the man of dust, we will also bear the image of the man of heaven. What I'm saying, brothers and sisters, is this. Flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God nor does the perishable inherit the imperishable. Word of God, word of life. 
Thanks be to God. God. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus the Christ, according to St. Luke. Glory to Glory you, to you Lord. Lord. Jesus said, but I say to you that listen, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who abuse you, if anyone strikes you on the cheek, offer the other also. And from anyone who takes away your coat, do not withhold even your shirt. Give to everyone who begs from you. And if anyone takes away your goods, do not ask for them again. Do to others as you would have them do to you. If you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners love those who love them. If you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners do the same. If you lend to those from whom you hope to receive, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners to receive as much again. But love your enemies. Do good and lend expecting nothing in return. Your reward will be great and you will be children of the Most High for he is kind to the ungrateful and the wicked. Be merciful just as your father is merciful. Do not judge, and you will not be judged. Do not condemn, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, will be putting, put into your lap. For the measure you give will be the measure you get back. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to Praise you, to you, you Christ. Oh Christ. Dear hearers of God's word, grace and peace to you from God, our creator and our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Amen. Okay, folks. We, went out, we, we had the wonderful news of the prayings. And then... Jesus goes on and explains a little bit more about what it means. Now nah, he does a lot more than that. He tells us how to behave in an entirely different way. There was a man that I knew when I was growing up who was the most stingy, tight, antagonistic, um, can we think of some other really bad words in some respects? He was one of those people that you just didn't like being around. 
He couldn't understand what it meant to give of himself in any way, shape, or form. He wouldn't donate to the charities that happened in my hometown. You know, when we give money to families who were having problems with health, or there was a prairie fire that burned their house down, people gave up asking him for anything. He was one of those really tight people. You know, having known him, he was also one of those people that had an incredible voice. He made me really jealous because he could sing better than anybody else in the town, but it always sounded to me like a crow. It's just who he was. People asked him to sing for weddings and funerals and he rarely did it. And only if it was his family. And most of the time, his family didn't ask either. He was just that kind of person. One winter, most of his livestock froze because of blizzards. I was probably about 10, so he was probably his, his that winter we had upward of six feet of snow. And when you live in the country, you don't get it called away. It's there right in front of you until it melts in the summer. And then the creeks flood. It took a long time to find his cattle. The wind had blown them afar away. He was losing everything because of it. Now, most everybody remembered how he treated everybody in terms of being willing to give and care for people. And the immediate response was what you'd think would be typical. You know, he got what he deserved. Yeah, that's what he got. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's what he should have gotten. That was the typical expected response. Now, there were some in town who said, you know, he got what he deserved all right, you know. And then there were those who said, well, he never gave us anything. Why should we give him any help? You know, is he gonna lose his farm? Yeah, well, if he does, it's his fault. It got worse. That was a long winter. And he couldn't get off his farm very often because the roads were all snowed under. And most people didn't care if he couldn't get into town. There were a few. A couple people gave him some help. The fuel truck brought in gas for his house, for his stove, and for his oven, and for his furnace. He still hadn't found his cattle. When everyone found that his cattle had been buried in snow, 
there were those who decided that they needed to help him. It didn't matter that he was cold and icy and, and a real skin flint. It didn't matter that he was the kind of person that nobody wanted to be around. What mattered was the fact that he was, scary thought, a person. Everybody, not everybody, but a great majority figured that his cattle were frozen in the snow. Actually, they found a corner in their pasture where he had put hay himself. And they were covered with snow, but they kept warm because they were covered with the snow and they had food. And gradually the snow started collapsing down around them and others saw it and brought more hay for them to survive because it was the right thing to do. Now, I'd love to tell you that he became a really generous man because he got so much poured into, into his life, because he did. He really got a lot. He did get better, though. But he was still a little cold, still a little tight. But he did start singing. He did start talking to people as if they were human, which was really kind of cool. He didn't give as much as perhaps he should have or could have. And the words of today's gospel, you know, it, measure what you give is the measure you get back. But the thing is, is that those who helped him during that time of crisis, we found that that next summer got more than they ever realized that they could. Crops were 40 bushel to the acre that summer. And in the part of the country I grew up in, 40 bushel to the acre was amazing. Usually it was more like 15 bushel to the acre. That summer, no cattle were lost. No calves were lost. And gardens, oh, wow. If you like zucchini, they were this big. Nobody said that it was because they gave and helped the one who'd lost his cattle or they thought had lost it. Rather, but years later, they looked and said, you know, remember when? And measure for measure, they got more than they would have ever expected. I tell this long and rather convoluted old story because we're talking about this being back in about 1965. And the man lived another, I think, 20 years. But one of the things that I tell the story about is, is that you don't know how your generosity, your willingness to share, to give, to offer yourself to another person is going to be measured by God. It's not because you must do, it's rather because you're given the opportunity to do. Do not judge and you'll not be judged. Do not condemn and you will not be condemned. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Even when it's really hard, 
Forgiving that man was one of the hardest things people had to do. They hated how he was so awful to them. And some of them were pretty awful to him. And when they started helping him after that winter, they realized how God had blessed them and they needed it to take the next step. Give, and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, will be put into your lap. There were the words, for the measure you give will be the measure you get back. But Jesus said, the measure will be pressed down, shaken and poured over into your lap. Isn't that amazing? I, I look at those of you whom I'm seeing sitting here this day. I'm looking and seeing the way your life has been influenced and how whether you realize it or not, one of the ways you give is by being present together. Whether we're virtual, whether we're in the sanctuary and blended, whether you're willing just to pray. Measure for measure, we're giving. Listen. Love your enemies, do good to those who hate you. That neighbor hated most everybody, but ended up understanding because others understood love. I don't know what he was like when he lived, when he died, because I wasn't there anymore. When I asked about him one time, my mom said, oh yeah, He's doing really good. That's all she'd say. He's doing really good. That was my mom's way of saying he was doing good. Not doing good for himself, but doing good. So I would say this. For the measure you give is the measure you get back. Give love, give hope, give forgiveness. And it returns a multitude of times. And for that, may we all say, okay, push that, push that button now so you can all say it with me. Thanks, Thanks be, be, be to God. God. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Living together in trust and in hope and in faith, we confess, we believe in one, in one, one God, 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 the Father, the, Father, the Almighty, Almighty maker of heaven, heaven and earth, and earth, earth of, of all, all that, that is seen and unseen. And unseen. We, we believe, believe in one Lord, Lord God, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. 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 The only, the only Son of God, of God eternally eternally God of the Father, God from God, 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 he, he came, came down, down from heaven, from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit from the Virgin Mary and, and became, became truly, truly human. human. For our sake, he was crucified by the Pontius Pilate. He suffered for the death and was buried. And was buried. On the, the third day, day he rose, rose again, again, according, according to the, the scriptures. scriptures. He ascended into heaven, heaven, heaven and is seated at the, the right hand of the Father. Father. He will, will come again, again in glory to judge the living and, living and the dead, dead. And, his and his kingdom, kingdom will have no end. end. We believe in, in the Holy Spirit, Spirit the Lord, Lord, the Lord, the giver of life. life. Who proceeds from the Father and the Son, the Son. who with the with Father, Father and the Son makes his worship in our heart, who has, who has spoken, spoken through, through the prophets. prophets. We believe in one holy, holy Catholic, 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 Catholic Church. Church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. Of sins. We look for the, the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. To come. Amen. 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 The Spirit of the Lord is poured out upon us in abundance, so we are bold to pray for the church, the world, and all that God has made. You teach us to love our neighbors and enemies alike. Encourage your church to follow the leading of your love, especially when it is risky or difficult. Help us to show mercy just as we have first received mercy. God of grace, you are you are our prayer. prayer. Our prayer. Nurture fields that lie dormant, dormant, resting until it is time to bloom again. Bless farmers and all who cultivate fields and urban gardens. Give favorite weather for planting. Bring forth from buried seeds an abundant harvest and guard against famine and disease. God of grace, yeah. 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 Look upon our world with mercy that we have we that we delight in an abundance of peace. Protect all whose lives are marred by war and civil unrest. Release political prisoners and amplify the voices that challenge us to seek forgiveness and pursue nonviolence. God of grace, hear yeah, our prayer. prayer. Your people cry out for mercy, console hearts that long for forgiveness, 
mend broken relationships, heal bodies that suffer chronic pain or illness, strengthen and deliver all whose spirits are troubled, especially Errol and Karen, 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 Karen Dorothy, Anani, David's family, Gladys, Sally, Ken, Kathleen, George, Carol, Christine, Maria, Laura, John, Bob, Bob, Carol, Jean and Owen, God of grace, you ask us to care for those who support and envision your word among us, especially the AA ministry, residing Bishop Elizabeth, Bishop God of grace. Here are our prayers. You bind us together into one family. Teach us to forgive one another and to resolve conflicts with humility and patience. Bless families of all shapes and sizes and show love to those who are lonely or grieving. God of grace. Here are our we praise you for the saints who have inherited the fullness of your kingdom, especially Barbara, oh, well, John, 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 Patricia, Marie, Bill, Susan, As you have raised them to imperishable and eternal life, sustain us in faith by the promise of resurrection. God of grace, hear our prayer. As your son died for us, we remember these who gave their lives that others might have life and freedom. Darren, um. Nicole, 
God of grace, you are proud of And what else do we ask of our God this day? Again, we ask and always we ask for Ethiopia, Tigray, Eritrea, and the Ukraine, that those who would be saber rattling would stop, that quiet peace and healing would reign. For Haiti in its turmoil that continues because of poverty, a broken land and broken government, that there be hope in their communities. For Afghanistan, for those that are continuing to flee and for those who have remained to seek peace. Especially for the conversion of those who do harm to others and themselves by their actions or their failure to act. That this, the children of Abraham, Jews, Christians, and Muslims might walk in faith wherever we are. We would ask that there be comfort and healing in the Midwest where they have reached a, a point where the aquifers are beginning to dry out and the land is drought. And what else do we ask this day? We pray for those congregations that are in transition, <laughs> where their pastors, their shepherds are no longer leading that flock. And as they look at life anew, Lord, hear our prayer. Since we have such great hope in your promises, O oh God, we lift these and all of our prayers to you in confidence and faith. Through Jesus the Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. 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 And may the peace of Christ be with you always. And also, and also with, also with you. you. Holy God, light of the universe, teacher of truth, giver of goodness. We hear your word in the scriptures proclaiming to us your wisdom and inviting us to follow your call. For speaking this word, we thank you, O oh God. We thank, we thank you, O you, oh God. God. Your word came among us in Jesus, our brother, who preached your righteousness, healed the sick, and revived the brokenhearted. For giving us this word, we worship you, O oh God. We worship, we worship you, you, you God. God. By your spirit, bless all who have received this word, that upheld by the mystery of the body of Christ, we may be light for the world, revealing the brilliance of your Son for sustaining us with your word. We praise you, O oh God. We praise, we praise you, you, O God. God. Blessed are you, holy God, around us, 
with us and in us now and forever. Amen. 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 Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. As God blesses us and sends us in mission to the world, we hear of opportunities to serve and to gather together in God's world. Good morning to all who are on Zoom with us today. Always on Sunday morning, our Zoom room opens at 10 a.m for a conversation where we catch up on what's going on in the life of Trinity. And service begins at 10.30 a.m. We welcome you to come and stay with us. Our prayer and conversation continues almost two years, 12.15 to 12.45-ish, Monday through Friday. We have two Bible study uh, groups, one on Wednesday evenings at 7 p.m. and another one on Thursday mornings, Thursday evening, Thursday mornings, I am confused, at 10.30 a.m. Uh, we are, our Wednesday group is completing First Timothy and our Thursday group is in the third chapter of 2 Timothy. Our Sunday school on Sunday mornings, of course, 9.30 a.m. on Zoom. Please see the meeting room. Our AA ministry, which is a wonderful, wonderful healing ministry, continues meeting on our campus on Mondays and Wednesdays at 10.30 a.m. Tuesdays for beginners and Thursdays the step meeting at 7.30 p.m. Please continue your prayer once again for this healing ministry. Our Boy Scouts and Cub Scouts meet Friday evenings in our parish hall and our Girl Scouts also meet. Worship committee, we will meet on Tuesday March 8th at 7 p.m., of course, to discuss the Lenten service and Holy Week. Quilts met on Friday um, and will meet again on Friday, March 18th. Suming, your reading was absolutely beautiful this morning and we thank you for volunteering. Next Sunday, we will have the Ilagan family, and we thank everyone who volunteers to read. Volunteers, when we return to the building, will be needed to assist with the Eucharist, inside, outside ushers, worship, and communion delivery. Our support for ministry this week, um, as noted, and we ask you to continue 
of supporting us. Donations can be made on trinitymiddlevillage.org by clicking the donate button. Our take something, give something hygiene box is being used by the community. We thank you for your present support and ask you to continue to do that. The clothing box drop is being emptied, emptied at least twice a week. Uh, it is being utilized by the community. Uh, I guess we will have to post a sign soon saying, please, down in the box, not around the box. Our boiler was repaired. We thank um, Helmet for being there for us to make sure that that work was done. So that means that there is heat in the building once again. Our future ministry projects will continue as we are funded. St. Jacobus, um, led by Pastor Montavani, uh, still continues to feed people via Stacy's Pantry, located at 9114 48th Avenue. Our Western Queens Conference Zoom prayer meeting meets on Wednesday evenings at 7 p.m. And this past Wednesday, uh, the Church Council of Trinity Long Island City met with us at the beginning of their uh, meeting and prayed with us. Trinity Long Island City also has a Monday prayer gathering at 8 p.m. And the Bible study at Grace is now called Women Together in Grace because the women of Trinity Long Island City, Grace and Trinity Middle Village meet on Thursday evenings at 7.30 p.m. And for those who are early risers, there is a daily prayer line that meets Monday through Friday at 6 a.m. And that is hosted by Synodical Deacon Ingrid Compton. And I believe she told us that that has been going on now for about 10 years. Our musicians, you outdid yourselves as usual. The, our gathering hymn was simply beautiful. Thank you. Thank you for your wonderful voices. You are quite welcome. Birthday, wow. Jeff. And birthday, Daniel, today. And Daniel, how old are you now? Hey! Hello! Ten. Ten? Oh, my gosh. Double well, happy. <laughs> yeah. And I was given a request to sing for him, if that's okay. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's let's make it let's make it happen then. All right, here we go. Request uh, if is anybody have any hymn, favorite hymn, please submit to either me or Didi. And we, we have a little bit of like, you know, we are planning some some stuff to in, do some kind of like the hymn stuff. So we want to have some list, you know, before really doing it. So uh, submit some uh, the favorite hymns so uh, we can we can plan it in the, you know, soon. Thank you. 
And again, please do that in writing, which means send it to via email to um, Masayo or Didi or Pastor or me. But please, 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 we heard you. We all heard you. Now we just need the list. Now yeah, we, we just need, need the list. list. <laughs> And uh, I guess like when we're going to meet for the uh, uh, worship committee or maybe sooner, uh, we will put something together. So we'll be we'll be introduced some segments or something in uh, part of the wor uh, worship. And uh, I have to ask the Frank to perform more and we will record it and then we do. Uh, if we have like already very existing one, but like since you haven't heard on this two year journey then that meaning that we we never recorded it so we will be doing some brand new recording and uh we are very ex I, I i'm particularly like very excited to do something like that um yeah. and uh but also our uh recording is now uh gradually available on the youtube so please visit the trinity middle village um website and then check the website and then there is some uh Trinity Times article there, and we have our previous services, the previous recording, and all the stuff yeah. is available. So uh, please enjoy visiting and then to see. And also, you know, if you guys, you know, interested for the Diagonia, since we are like trying to convince a lot of people <laughs> to go to Diagonia, uh, you know, it's not too late to think about uh, st a class starting in September. But however, it's good to, you know, plan to see if, you know, you are interested in or if you have any questions, please ask us, uh, me or Lois. We graduated from uh, Diagonia in 2018 and then it's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful worship. And then this is a great time because everybody going back to more like a forward into uh, the normal uh, lifestyle, like going in a gathering and then you will have a wonderful fellowship in the Diagonia. And I think it's, that's the wonderful thing. So if you have any question, uh, you know, give us a go or send me an email, text, whatever. <laughs> Thank you. Last announcements. Um, Sunday, or excuse me, Wednesday, the 2nd of March is Ash Wednesday. I would ask if there's folks who are available and or willing to help stuff little plastic envelopes with ashes this coming Thursday, anytime from one o'clock until five o'clock in the, in, in the uh, parish hall. Um, what you're gonna do is stuff ashes into a little envelope, which you'll then seal and put into an envelope that we're going to mail out so that everyone will have them. We The numbers aren't good enough yet to allow us to be back in the sanctuary. Uh, the, the numbers this morning were still high. We're starting to get to moderate, but in Middle Village, that's still risky. And I don't want to risk people's health. Uh, so we'll be sending those out. There will be zoom at eight o'clock in the morning on ash wednesday so you can play with your ashes if you wish because you'll have had them by then or seven o'clock in the evening same thing and if somebody wants to come specifically for prayer you can come to the sanctuary individually it's going to be distant and plastic gloves in the whole nine yards but so it's available eight noon and seven. Last announcement, um, our friends at Grace announced that they're doing a prayer service at 1030 at Church in the Garden. They're doing a service at 7 p.m. And an, I just announced ours. Um, so we're, we're starting to share our numbers back and forth so that we can actually do the kind of ministry that we were doing before and we'll keep doing. Um, and again, filling the envelopes is, is Thursday afternoon from one until between one and five or until we get done. Um, and then Tuesday, this, uh, Tuesday the first, for those who want 
Well, I'm burning ashes. I don't know what time yet, probably at noon on that day. Um, and I'll be on the, uh, on the terrace at the sanctuary. So if you want to see it, but I'm still going to record it. And so we'll be able to put it up on our, on our website. Um, enough out of me. Oh. Dot on your heads for the blessing. God who leads you in pathways of righteousness. God who rejoices over you. And God who calls you by name. Bless your going out and your coming in today and forever. Amen. 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 Go with Christ into a weary world. Share the good news. Thanks. Thanks. Peace Peace to God. 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 Have a great <laughs> week, everyone. Have a good week. Have a great week. And, and a warm afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah. <laughs>